Hey everyone, welcome to Steven Universe Universe, the show where we talk about the universe of Steven Universe. My name is Victor Frost and it is day three of Steven Bomb Week, which means it's time for us to look at the latest episode and see what we learned. If you haven't yet watched the episode, Political Power, now is your chance to pause this video, go watch that one, then come back. Don't worry, we'll wait. In the meantime, this is your spoiler alert. Mayor Dewey, Mayor Dewey. Let's see what we learned. So in the wake of Lapis Lazuli's message, Pearl decides to flex some creative muscle and sets to work on building a device to help give them the edge for when Peridot finally reaches Earth. And in the process causes a citywide blackout. Of course, Mayor Dewey, having been mayor for long enough, knows that the Crystal Gem had to have something to do with this. And he makes a few good points. Number one, the Beach City residents will be incensed if power isn't back on by the end of the day. Two, that Beach City is basically a magnet for disaster. And three, Pearl is absolutely the hottest one. Mayor Dewey, keeping it real. Steven, of course, decides to go on a ride along with Mayor Dewey to aid with some of the damage control. And in the process, we learn a few things. Mayor Dewey has made only a handful of appearances, and generally speaking, he's been portrayed as an incompetent city official. Big fish in a small pond. I mean, he tried to refill the ocean with a garden hose. This is really our first chance at seeing Mayor Dewey actually being a mayor. In the process of Steven's ride along, we learn that Dewey knows that the events that will shape the lives of the people who live in his town are largely out of his control. As mayor, it's his job to keep the people calm and maintain order by making them feel safe, even if that's not truly the case. He is impotent and incapable and he knows it, but this is his job, so he'll do the best that he can even if that means he has to lie to them. Steven is a kid, so he knows that lying is bad, but he also seems to understand why the mayor is doing what he's doing. This creates a conflict in Steven, which hits especially hard when Greg turns away the glow stick. He wants to tell his dad to take the glow stick, that things might not be back to normal when sundown hits, but he knows that this will cause Greg to question what Mayor Dewey was saying, which he understands is for Greg's own good. Back at home, Steven learns that the Crystal Gems too are hiding the truth. They're worried about Peridot and whatever is coming with her, and they even get out the core design trio. But when Steven's around, they pretend that everything's alright, and that Peridot is just coming to meet them. One of the things I love about this show is how they convey complicated ideas. On one hand, they show that lying is bad and it can cause problems. On the other hand, they show how sometimes people lie for perfectly good and noble reasons. And they do this not just in a dialogue, but throughout the show in a number of different ways. When Pearl lies about the nature of Peridot's visit, Beach City is thrust into darkness. When Mayor Dewey lies to the townspeople and when the Crystal Gems try to deceive Steven, they're keeping them in the dark. And when the townspeople confronting Mayor Dewey roll his van, they show a side of themselves that is darker than we have ever seen. Well, except Onion. Throughout the entire episode, both physically, metaphorically, and morally, dark, dark, dark. However, when Steven tells the townspeople the reality of the situation, metaphorically spreading the light of truth, they stop rioting and go back to their normal selves. And when he confronts the crystal gems, when they tell him what's really going on, and he helps them decide to confront it with him, the lights literally come back on. It's not the most subtle use of symbolism in the world, but hey, it's effective. Everyone was trying to shelter the ones they love from reality, but unless you keep the light of the truth, you'll always be in the dark. Wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. And that's what we learned in this episode of Steven Universe Universe. Join us tomorrow where we talk about the half hour long two part special, The Return and Jailbreak. I'm Victor Frost, and I'll see you tomorrow.